Tonight I just got the Nextool Flagship Pro and this is the model that comes with the replaceable knife. But first, let's delve into what the Flagship Pro has to offer very quickly. One of the features I forget is that it does have this glass breaker, it will have a ruler, it has an excellent pair of scissors, that's probably a huge reason why a lot of people buy this. And these scissors are almost more like shears, they just cut really, really well. And I wouldn't be very careful with them because whatever you put in front of them, they seem to want to just slice right through. On the outside, you do have on this model, the replaceable knife, and then you also have the saw. Now on my model, I have to overextend the tool for the lock to slip into place, and then it is locked into place like so. On the back, you have a very nice pocket clip, and then you have three external additional tools that give you some extra benefit. You have the seat belt cutter, the strap cutter with the Phillips screwdriver on top. This does cut through paracord, but I have to extend a lot of force and I'm afraid I would knock over my lights. Then we have the wire stripper and the can opener and the bottle opener and the screwdriver. And then on the inside, we have a nice set of spring-loaded pliers and they come with replaceable wire cutters. They meet very well at the end. So all this comes in a pretty nice package, but the main reason I bought this, actually, and this locks into place as well, was this replaceable knife blade. Now, I view this tool sort of like Nextool's Leatherman Garage release. So right now, this is only sold overseas. And I wonder if sometimes they do that just to gauge people's response, to see how people like the tool, and then they make business decisions rather from there. That's what it seems like sometimes. So I will try to leave a link for AliExpress. Now in the package, you have a cloth sort of like a cloth plush drawstring bag that this comes with, no pouch, and then you have the box. You have some very limited instructions, and then it does come with all the blades. You have to put the blade in. Now, the instructions are not extremely helpful. They do identify what the tools are on here, but they don't really tell how to put the blade in. I guess they expect that's fairly self-explanatory, but, being that I have never used this before, I wasn't quite sure how far the blade fit down here. So at first I assumed that the blade went all the way down here and that this button, you depressed it and that the blade locked into place and snapped through this hole. That sort of made sense to me and I thought that would have been a good design. But when you match up this blade, now I see there is no room for that to be possible. So I kept shoving it. I even got a screwdriver on the back of the spring and I bent my spring out of place. And so that caused issues because it's not this end that keeps the tool, the knife blade in place. It's this front depression. So that actually slides into this hole like so and keeps it sort of locked into place. Now, it's not locked into place because you can just wiggle this blade when I first got it. That's why I tried to keep pushing it back further because I thought it'd be a lot more secure and it wasn't. And so it is secure in that it doesn't just fall out, but if you wiggle it enough, it does come out very easily without even depressing this. So I'm not extremely impressed with that aspect of it. I really wish Nextool would develop something else, some other way to hold it in. I feel like even if I had to take the time to screw and unscrew, I personally would prefer that because it'd be more secure, but I'm sure many other people won't, so they'll probably keep the system. So what I did is I actually wedged in a little piece of electrical tape on the end, and then I wedged this blade in here trying to make sure I wasn't, I didn't slip and cut my finger to the bone but I wedged this in and then this is really secure now. So it is wedged in there and I'll probably have to use pliers maybe to pull this out. So it's definitely wedged in now. And now it works and cuts really well. So for instance, get some paracord right here, be very, and then of course it just slices right through. So it does a good job now. And I really like that aspect of the modularity. I'm a huge fan of that. 
multi-tools I feel like should be modular even in their tool set, not just have normal tools, but I really like whenever new designs come out. So I really applaud Next Tool for doing that. I just wish that wish their engineers had spent a tiny bit more time on this design, especially with a sharp knife. You definitely want to make sure it's secured. So I will leave links for this tool. I think it's worth getting, at least for your collection. And if you're like me and you wedge the blade in, then I feel like that is uh, pretty safe. But probably there's a lot of you modders out there who can come up with even a better solution as well. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.